In this video, I will show you how to fix Steam no connection error. This should be a pretty easy tutorial to follow, but before we do continue, please consider leaving a like on the video and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Now, there's a couple of things you can try if you are getting a connection error when you're trying to launch Steam or play games on Steam. The first thing we're gonna do, which might sound obvious, is just a quick restart of Steam. So what you wanna do is fully exit out of Steam. So you wanna close it down here, come down to the bottom right hand corner and click onto this arrow to show hidden icons. If Steam is showing up here, be sure to right click here and on this menu that comes up, come down and click onto exit Steam to fully shut down Steam. After doing that, go ahead and relaunch Steam and see if you're able to connect successfully. Now, if you tried that, but you're still getting a connection error, another thing you can try is running Steam as an administrator. So to do that, what you wanna do is make sure again that you've got Steam fully closed down. So again, come down to the bottom right hand corner and if Steam's showing up here, be sure to right click and then click onto exit Steam like we did in the previous step. Now, once you've done that, what you want to do is locate Steam on your desktop and then right click onto the Steam icon. On this menu that comes up, come down and click onto open file location. So what that's gonna do is open up the Steam folder and from here, it should automatically highlight the Steam application. You can see that's just here. And what you want to do is actually right click onto the Steam application and from this menu that comes up, come and click onto properties. Now what that's gonna do is bring up your Steam properties window like this. And from here, just come up to the top. You can see we got these different tabs. What you want to do is click onto compatibility and in here you want to basically come down and you're going to see an option here which says run this program as an administrator. So what you want to do is go ahead, tick this box and then click apply and OK and then just go ahead, launch Steam and see if that resolves your problem. Another thing you can try if you're still getting problems is once you've got Steam open, you want to come up to the top left hand corner, click on Steam and then come down and click on settings. Now, once you've got your settings window opened, if you come across to this menu on the left hand side and click on to downloads, what it's going to do is take you into your download settings. Now, from here, if you actually scroll down, you want to look for the option that says clear download cache. As you can see, it says that clearing the download cache may resolve issues downloading or starting apps. So if you're getting a connection error when trying to start certain apps or games, this can potentially fix that problem. Now, before you do this, be sure to make a note of your username and password, and it's gonna ask you to log back in. It's basically gonna shut down Steam fully and log you out. What you wanna do is basically click the clear cache button and just give it a couple of minutes to run through and relaunch Steam. And then hopefully when you log back in, you should now be able to play games and connect to Steam successfully. Now, if that, after trying all of these methods, you're still having a problem, it could be a issue with your internet connection. So you wanna make sure that your ISP, so your internet service provider, is not currently experiencing any issues or there's no maintenance work going on or something like that. And another reason it could be happening is it could also be the Steam servers. So the Steam servers could possibly be down or going under some maintenance work. If you want to check the status of your Steam servers, what you can do is open up a new internet browser. And if you come across this website here, which is steamstats.us, this is going to give you the Steam status. Now this isn't official, but it does update and it is pretty accurate. This is gonna give you an idea of the servers and if there's any problems or anything like that. So you can actually use this to check the Steam servers. Now, of course, if there's any maintenance work going on or the servers are down, it's just a case of waiting until the servers are good to go. And then of course, you should be able to connect back into Steam. So that is how to fix Steam no connection error. Hopefully with some of these methods, you'll be able to resolve that problem. Being said, if this tutorial did help you out today, then I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.